if you are trying to take down your first wholesale deal and running into problems, this video is going to help you. In addition, if you'd like to partner with me on a wholesale deal and get a $10,000 profit on your first deal, I'm going to walk you through how that can be done because I'm doing so for another one of my out-of-state clients. We're getting into some remote wholesaling, and we're going to show you guys how to put together a 10 k profit on deal one, and you never have to leave your house. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. This is the show where I help investors like you start, build, or grow their real estate businesses. I've done it all. Section 8 rentals, long-term buy and hold, Airbnb rentals, wholesaling, flipping. You name it, I've done it. Run a massive company out here in Cleveland. Google us if you've never heard of us, right? We know what we're doing. And today I'm helping an out-of-state investor do a wholesale deal, right? This guy don't have that much money, right? My man Brian. Brian, you don't have too much money, right? We're looking to do some stuff on the low end, right? You can't find really, really cheap stuff. You can't get involved in the game, can't start in the game without any money anywhere. You need a little money, folks, but where most of you live, you can't pick up real estate for 8 k But I'm going to show you how to get that done, Brian, and then I'm going to put together the deal. I'm going to put together the rest of it, and I believe we'll make you $10,000. I'm going to walk you through the deal right now. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's gonna be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's gonna be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back. Let us pull up the deal. Now this deal. Right? Shocker. This deal is in Cleveland, Ohio. Right? Why? Why did I choose Cleveland, Ohio? Why are we talking about a Cleveland, Ohio deal? Right? What's up? What's so special about Cleveland, Ohio? Well, it is one of the cheapest metro areas in the United States. Properties in Cleveland, Ohio are regularly selling for pennies compared to what you're all used to in places like California, places like Portland, places like New York, right? So when people tell you you can't get started in wholesaling if you don't have a lot of money or you just can't get started in wholesaling, it's not the way to start. They're not, it's not correct. You can get started in wholesaling, but you do need some money, right? You do need some money. So the people that say you don't need money at all, they're lying to you. They're leading you down the path to doing something illegal. Uh, but getting started isn't impossible if you're in an expensive market, right? You can find markets like Cleveland where you need very little money. As a matter of fact, this deal, I'm going to show you how to take this thing down for 8 k right? Eight grand. Imagine being in Portland or California, New York, and being able to buy a piece of real estate for eight grand. You can't do it, right? But places like Cleveland, you can do it. And we're still going to work it out where you can get a 10K spread, right? 8K investment, 10K profit. That seems like a hell of a return, right? And we do that by having a very firm understanding of the market. Now, it would be impossible for somebody out of state to figure all that out. You got to learn a lot of stuff to wholesale properties, right? You have to identify motivated sellers. You have to figure out what the true market value of their property is in a distressed state. You have to figure out how much repairs are going to be needed to get it to its ARV. You got to figure out what its ARV is. You got to figure out how much those repairs are going to cost. And you need to have a huge network of buyers, investor buyers, right? That's a whole lot of stuff. That's a lot for somebody who's brand new to real estate and not uh, familiar with the market to take on, right? So that's why I tackle almost all of that, right? And I'm going to walk you through it. This property, 10922 Tacoma, Cleveland, 44108. Listed at 45K. It's been on the market for 41 days. This house is all type of jacked, right? You can see the windows are boarded up, okay? It needs a full rehab, right? Probably good 30, 40K rehab if you're paying a professional to do it. A lot less if you're doing it on your own, right? And that's what's important. It's important to know your market, know your audience, okay? Here's the deal. The people that are going to make money on this property are going to be people that do the work on their own, right? These are properties that local guys that run rental portfolios or run contracting businesses, 
they're going to want to do deals like this because they can get the work done if they're doing it themselves, right? I'm talking contractors who are physically out there actually holding paintbrushes and hammers and they have a couple hourly guys working for them. Those are the kind of people that can squeeze down those rental costs, get that sweat equity. Those are the kind of people that are going to want to buy this. But guess what? Those people ain't going to pay 45 k And what's happening is you have a seller here who has overpriced it. They're getting desperate after a while, right? When people overprice properties because they're unwilling to understand the true value of their property, <clears throat> they start to get scared. They start to get nervous. And as it sits on the market, 40 days, 80 days, 100 days, no offers come in because people, most people just pass on it because it's so overpriced, right? And the seller just starts to think that nobody will ever buy it. That's where we come in and we hit them with that lowball offer. Now, if the seller actually priced it appropriately, they probably would get higher offers. But since they priced it higher, they're getting no offers. I see this all the time when I sell real estate. I'm like, yo, your house is worth 50. Seller's like, all right, well, let's price it at 70 so we have some negotiating room. Now, your house is worth 50, bro. If we price it at 50, we're going to get a higher uh, closing price than if we price it at 70. Because if we price it at 70, it's just going to sit forever, and you're going to have to keep dropping it. And eventually, you'll get it sold for less than what you would have because everybody thinks there's something wrong with it at this point. So seller made a total uh, rookie move here, overpricing their property. So because of that, they'll be like low to no competition and that's where we could jump in with a pure cash no questions asked offer 8k after closing costs and whatnot we're looking at about a 9k investment then i will get to work doing what i do i will put together a video like you see on the investment properties for sale show full video tour going through the whole thing i'll break down the renovation and i will use my network as the largest seller of investment properties in the cleveland market 200 million dollars in investment property sales just like this one to get this thing sold for a 25k do I think this seller and this agent have the ability to sell this for 25k? Probably not, right? But, but by being the best, I can get, you know, pretty decent premium because I'm going to put it all in a package, as nice of a package as could be, right? Because this seller probably doesn't really understand all the work needed. I'll be able to lay that out, right? I do this. I run a huge management portfolio. I have contacts with all these types of people, right? It takes years and years and millions of dollars to build up that type of infrastructure, but you luckily get to partner with me to do so, right? So, if I sell it at 25k, which I have no problem thinking I won't, that would be a clean profit of 10k for you. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.